Well, lasting power of attorney is a document that allows one person to nominate another person, their attorney, to make decisions on their behalf for when they lack capacity. It's very important that you choose your attorney carefully. You need to trust these people implicitly because they're going to manage your finances in the future if you become unable to do so. But essentially you could appoint anybody. Usually it's a family member or a friend. Uh, it can be a professional, but beware there could be charges by appointing a professional to look after your affairs for you. There are. There are two kinds of power of attorney. One deals with your property and finances, um, your bank accounts, uh, pensions, that sort of uh, matter. And there's a health and welfare power of attorney. And the health and welfare power of attorney deals with things such as where you would live if you'd lost capacity, like care homes, and the type of treatment that you would receive. Your attorneys can only act once the power of attorney has been signed by yourself and your attorney and by somebody called a certificate provider who certifies to say that you know what you're doing when you're making a power of attorney. But once everybody's signed, it goes to the office of the public guardian where it's registered on a national database and then once it's registered, your attorneys can act for you. Now, in regard to your property and affairs, they can act for you straight away if you'd like to, like to appoint them to act straight away. But with health and welfare, they can only act if you've lost mental capacity and it's been established that you've lost mental capacity. Lasting powers of attorney replaced enduring powers of attorney in 2007, but if you had made one, they are still valid but it's always worth looking at them again to make sure that the people are the same as you would choose if you're making a lasting power of attorney uh, and whether your circumstances have changed, but they are still valid and you can still use them. If you hadn't made a lasting power of attorney or an enduring power of attorney, then your family would need to make an application to the Court of Protection, which is long-winded and costly and it's easier to make a lasting power of attorney where you have chosen who you want to manage your affairs and not somebody that the court has decided should manage your affairs for you. If you'd like to know more about making a lasting power of attorney or reviewing your enduring power of attorney, give us a call here at Astor Patterson. A member of the private client team would be happy to help or you can look to our website for more information. We hope to see you soon.